Now, as the weather starts improving and we want to get amongst it with our dogs, but maybe you find it not as enjoyable as you'd like as they always pull on the lead. With advice to make that stop, we welcome back canine behaviourist Kelly McFarlane. Morning, Kelly. Good morning. So this can be a bit of a nightmare if you're trying to work, walk your dog. So why do dogs pull on the lead when we're going for a walk? Well, the first thing is, which people forget, dogs actually walk quicker than us. Anyway, naturally. That's so, debatable with my dog yeah. at times, but yeah. <laughs> and we like to do a little leisurely stroll. Um, and the second thing is when they're pulling on the lead, it works for them. They still get to go to the park. They still get to go to the beach. We don't stop any of that. So therefore, why not continue pulling? And some dogs get really excited even just by the sight of the lead. So what can you do to sort of reduce those excitement levels, or should you, or not? Definitely reduce it because, you know, the reality is if they, they don't have much impulse control before they go out, and what you tend to find is you have clients who are literally have a battle with their dog trying to get the lead on them. So you want to start teaching them that when you pick up the lead, they just need to sit or stand still, um, and they still get to go out. We can just say the word walk in normal everyday conversation, and the dog hears it now and picks it up, and she's ready at the door waiting to go. Even when we're not talking about taking her for a walk, they're quite clever really aren't they yeah they, so, re they read us like books they do yeah. so is it easy to train your dogs to walk nicely on the lead it is I think a lot of people think it's difficult and or they might be given not the best advice to help and um, but yeah it, it's actually very very easy that that's the thing and also you just have to realize that you're in certain environments that could be full of high distractions and um, so as long as you're aware of that and you know what you're up against yourself um, then yeah it's very simple can you teach any age dog absolutely Absolutely. So you can teach an old dog new tricks. You can teach any dog anything you like if you if you bother to do it, basically. <laughs> so do you need to use any special type of equipment to train your dog to stop them pulling on the lead? Um, well, with regards to equipment, to be honest, most of my clients I work with, we just use a normal lead and just a normal collar. That's mm -hmm. it. Um, on the odd occasion, I'll use a training harness if, if that's necessary. Um, and for some dogs where they're extremely large and more when I'm concerned about the owner's safety with regards to them being dragged into the middle of the road, and then I may use a gentle harness on them. Um, sorry, a gentle leader, which just goes around their, their muzzles. So, but generally just this, and I tend not to use flexi leads. They're a nightmare and you, um, you have no control over your dog. Thank you. Can you tell my husband that? I hate them. I've done it now on TV. Them. Good. Excellent. So he has to listen. Okay, so how long does it take to train your dog to walk nicely? And to be honest, how long's a piece of string? I mean, the key to it really when you're training is you're, you're getting out there. You want to, first of all, practice saying your dog's name. You know, have your dog rewarded every time. You can use um, a clicker as well if that's how you train your dog. Can I have a look at the clicker? Yeah. Um, so you'll say your dog's name and then basically when they look at you, you'll reward them with food or you'll um, use the clicker how and then reward. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna get this. <laughs> ah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you just push it. <laughs> um, and then once they're basically paying attention, um, then yeah. they'll start checking in with you naturally and then you'll reward them for the check-in. And before you know it, they're actually gonna start hanging out with you because mm. it's more fun. This is a very useful little piece of kit, isn't it? Where do yes. you get one of these from? Um, you can generally get them from pet stores. You can buy them online. Um, the key to the, the clickers is knowing how to use it properly. Mm. Um, I see lots of people kind of doing what you were doing but they just you know click away at everything. Not a TV um, remote. And yeah and basically um, the way to do it is you're marking the behavior that the dog does. So if the dog sits you'll click and then you'll reward the dog with a piece of food. Right so, this so the is, click is like good dog have some yeah, food. This is okay. the marking the behavior so you can get really precise or if you're teaching tricks and things like that if you want the dog to lie on its right side you only click the clicker when it's on its right side. So what's your top tip apart from the clicker to training successfully training your dog? Uh, reward them you know pay the dog if you don't pay the dog we all like to be paid so if the dog's not being paid then um, you know why is it going to do what you want it to do with the dog though <laughs> you do have to pay them with food don't you because that's what they get <laughs> it, yeah well it really depends I mean I have some dogs that I work with that yes we reward with food um, and just to make a note it's not their everyday kibble mm -hmm. you know their little biscuits um, other dogs it's it's play it's attention it really depends on what you're teaching and what the dog really wants excellent hey thank you so much thank you. and don't forget that you can Uber are giving away to our our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of Yukonuba dry food. To download the voucher, go to www.yukonuba.co.nz forward slash the cafe.